my favorite part of the weekend when we get to talk about adoptable dogs and joining me again today is Lisa from Frankie Lola and Friends and you have brought a hot dog for me, a skeleton for you, and a pumpkin over here. Tell me about each one of these dogs and how they came to your rescue. So this is Wilder. He came from a shelter, a rural shelter up north and um, not sure, sure how long he was there. This is Graham. He came from an overcrowded LA shelter where he was there for 131 days. Oh, Graham. And this is Marmaduke from another LA-based shelter. I think he was there for a couple of months. He was on his really last hour. Um, so you basically really did save them all. Okay, so back to the pup. This is definitely a puppy. Mm -hmm. Tell me what kind of dog you think possible. I mean, it's hard to tell, but four months shepherd yeah. mix lab shepherd lab and i know that you have a trainer you brought with with him today he's got a lot of energy <laughs> uh what kind of home does he need a home with a yard kids other dogs i think he needs we, another dog right yeah and he, he does he and um somebody who's committed to training a puppy and a house with a yard and just really all of them we'd love to put them in a home with another dog where they get plenty of exercise <laughs> where they have a yard and really committed to putting in the work to make them, you know, well-rounded. And taking them on long walks, too. So, Graham, I know you're trying to get your camera time, as you deserve. <laughs> Over 100 days in the shelter, that's crazy. How old? About a year. That's... Oh. About a year, a year. What about Graham? What kind of home does Graham need? Graham is on the high energy side, so he needs kind of an active family. Um, somebody who, uh, obviously, a house with a yard who will just put in a little additional training, but thanks to our friends at Pack Potential, they've really given these guys all their basics. They're all crate trained, potty trained. They know place work. They're great on a leash. They're a little playful now, but. Give them another shout out because what's the name of this tra training again? Pack Potential, Pack Potential. Because a lot, of, here's the problem. A lot of dogs get returned to rescues and shelters because of their behavior, but they just need simple training. So for Pack Potential to be able to help you guys, oh. it's definitely making homes more adoptable. And he's a, he's a feet licker. So uh, yeah. we got a foot fetish you over here with you, Graham. your costume. Tell me about Marmaduke though. What kind of home would he be good in? So Marmaduke, he's, you know, medium, more medium energy. He's still really young too, just like Graham. So like Lisa said, I think all of these dogs <laughs> do really well in a home with another dog because they are really balanced and social. And that's Oh, they're what, very social. Yeah, we love <laughs> to see that. And just anyone who, you know, can keep, continue to set them up for success and that are just really committed to, you know, training and giving them the right home. Nothing more than I love to watch dogs play. It yeah. makes me so happy. Um, okay, do you have any more fundraisers coming up right now? Yeah. You guys are always obviously fundraising. I actually don't. I, I really just have a presence on, okay. on Instagram, and but I am always fundraising via Instagram. Right now I have a sick puppy, so it's... Yeah, we're always looking for fosters. We can't save a dog without That's a That's what I was just going to ask you about. We both know the LA shelters are packed right now. Animals will die just for space. But if you guys could get fosters, yes. you could save more lives. I Each one of these dogs is alive because somebody fostered them. And Hannah is fostering two of them. And it's not <laughs> a full-time <laughs> commitment. When you foster a dog for a rescue, it means they'll pay you for all the supplies. Everything is supplied. Everything is paid for. Uh, we just ask that you provide love. structure, yes, uh, love, <laughs> and um, yeah, and I will point out that really most of my dogs come with one free training session with Pack oh, Potential great. to set them up for success because I do rescue a lot of the bully breeds and... Which saves a lot of lives as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Oh just, my goodness, they're all uh, so playful, I love it. All right, we love this rescue, Frankie, Lola, and friends. We had their information up on the screen. If you want to adopt any of these pups, you can follow her on Instagram, go to her website, and if you missed the information, just reach out to me on social media, and you know I'll put you in touch. We'll be right back.